look at correlation and scatter plots. So first, I went ahead and read in my databank file to get my data into our studio. And the first thing I want to do is create a scatter plot. For this, I'm going to use the command plot. The first variable that I put is going to be the one on the x axis. So we need to do our data set and then dollar sign and pick which variable that we want to look at. We're going to do weight, comma, and then we're going to put our variable for the y axis. Data bank, dollar sign, and I'm going to do systolic. So we're going to look at the relationship between weight and systolic blood pressure. I can run this and I see my scatter plot down here at my bottom right. My axes labels are not particularly helpful, so we can change that. Just like we did with our box plot and our pie chart and our histogram and other graphs. We can use the command main equal to to give this a title. And I'm going to call it systolic blood pressure versus weight. I can also use my xlab command to label my x-axis, and I'm going to label it weight since that is the variable on that axis, and ylab to label my y-axis of systolic blood pressure. If I run this, I can see my updated graph down here at the bottom. I want to be able to look at correlation of this scatter plot, so I'm actually going to give this a name R because I'm going to want to use it later. And core is our command for correlation. So I have my data bank, data set, dollar sign, and then I give it my variable, weight. And then my second one, systolic. If I run this, I have it saved. I can just type the command R to get it to display. And I can see that my correlation coefficient is 0.6203249. So kind of a moderate relationship here. We can also create a regression line. For this, I'm going to want to use it later, so I'm going to call it fit for the line of best fit. And my command is lm. And inside of here, something that trips people up a lot is that I need to reverse the variables. I actually need to put my y variable first. So I'm going to do databank dollar sign systolic to put the y variable first. We then use the tilde sign. And then I'm going to put my x variable, databank dollar sign weight. And if I run this, I now have my line. I can use just the command fit to see it. We can see the intercept and the slope. So. We have the first number is our y-intercept. The second number is our slope. The general form of a line is y equal to mx plus b. So I'm given b first and m second. I can use the command ab line and then fit. And if I run this, I can see that my regression line has been put onto my scatter plot. I can also use this to make predictions. So I'm going to use PRED for prediction and basically fit my line, dollar sign, and then I'm going to use this COEF, which stands for coefficient. One, because basically I want the first number in that thing, the y intercept, plus fit dollar sign COEF. Two, to get the slope times my variable. In this case, I'm going to predict what would be the blood pressure of someone who weighed 135 pounds. So I have my slope times x plus my y-intercept. And if I run this and then display it, I can see that I should expect someone 
with a weight of 135 to have a systolic blood pressure of about 126.